All right, uh, here's a problem where we have a uh, very complicated looking uh, reaction and it says the decomposition of chloramine to ammonia and chlorine is a first order reaction. The following kinetic data were obtained and we've got uh, different times, different concentrations, and we're asked to uh, plot the data to show the reaction as first order. Now, what you need to remember is that if you plot uh, time versus concentration, it should be a linear plot. So we want to put uh, time on the uh, x-axis and uh, concentration on the y-axis. So 0 0.01 would be 0 0.1, 10, 0 0.00, 987 would be 0 0.2, and so on. And this should be a, a linear graph where the slope is equal to uh, minus k. And so from the slope, we can find out uh, what the elementary reaction rate constant is. So uh, what I did was I went ahead and uh, placed this information on a website that you will find on uh, the description. And it basically plotted the data, and it found the, uh, the slope. Um, it's kind of cut off the screen here, but here's the, the slope, minus 1.24 uh, times 10 to the minus 5. And the slope um, is uh, negative since it's sloping down, and uh, it's a pretty straight line here. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that slope information to calculate the rest of the problem. Okay, so the slope was um, so by the linear plot, we've basically demonstrated that the reaction is first order, and the slope is equal to a minus k which is negative uh, uh, 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5. So of course multiply both sides by minus 1 so we get k is equal to uh, 1.25 times 10 to the minus 5 um, reciprocal seconds, uh, sorry, reciprocal minutes. Let me undo that. Minutes. Okay. How do I know it's reciprocal minutes? Because the time is in units of minutes. All right. So that's the uh, the rate constant we'll use for solving part C. So part C says use the rate law. You might be wondering, well, how do we know what the rate law is? Um, it's a first order reaction, and we have only one chemical substance. So the rate law is just rate is equal to K times the concentration of NH2Cl. Okay, and we know the rate constant, and they give us the concentration, so they're just asking us to calculate the rate of decomposition at this particular concentration. Now we could have used the plot on that website. You can actually punch in uh, a, a value, and it would calculate the rate. But let's just do it here uh, using algebra. So 1.25 times 10 to the minus 5, okay, that's reciprocal minutes, times uh, 0 0.015 molar. Okay. And so the reaction rate, if you punch this into your calculator, is equal to 1.9 times 10 to the minus 7 uh, molarity per second. Uh, per, per minute, sorry. Okay, so that's our, our final answer here. Okay, so we have the reaction rate, we have the value of k, and we have a nice linear plot. Okay, so that's how you uh, solve this problem here.